The historic Columbia's evolutionary arc over the past 20 years has been nothing um, if not amazing. Historic Columbia was founded in 1961 as part of a grassroots preservation movement to save the Robert Mills House. This 1823 structure has served as a historic house museum since opening in 1967. But today we do things a little different than back then. We went from an organization that was underfunded, um, underappreciated, and really underutilized into a leading historic preservation and local history institution. Since 2004, Historic Columbia has uh, performed no fewer than about 25 capital improvement projects at the six sites under its care. These capital projects have involved such things as replacing roofs, repainting, and some carpentry but they've also been as comprehensive as totally reinterpreting historic properties under our care, creating the first ever Museum of Reconstruction and highlighting the role of a human rights activist during the 1940s and 50s. When Historic Columbia looks at historic preservation, we don't just look at it through the lens of our built culture. We create an environment that is a safe place for us to talk about all of the different factors, all the different powers, that created the community that we know now as the capital city of South Carolina. I feel like this award, this distinction, is one that is not only celebrated by everyone who's currently on staff, but really everyone who has preceded us. We're building upon the shoulders of those individuals who in 1961 said no to the bulldozer, said no to the wrecking ball, and said yes to historic preservation.